Okay, so we are going to continue on with our video. Sorry about that. So right now we have the, let's see if you can see it, sodium chloride back from the solution. We had sodium chloride and water that we filtered out of the sand, and now we evaporated the water, so the sodium chloride is left. So that's a physical change. So filtered and evaporated. Okay, Will, do you see where? What? Up here, filtered, evaporated. That is not what you were pointing. It was too. I was pointing right here. You pointed to that. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> add the water. Okay, add the water. So we're, <clears throat> we're trying to see if it has the same properties as it had before. So did it just dissolve? Yes. Okay, so it just dissolved. And now we're gonna add 10 drops of silver nitrate. Okay, was that 10? Yeah. All right, so what happened, Will? Um. It turned white, and there's a precipitate. Turned white, precipitate, right there. Right here? Yes. All right. Now we're gonna evaporate that away. All right, it's evaporating away. Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now, look at the crystals. They're different, aren't they? We evaporated the water away. The crystals are now gray and they're smaller. So it's not the same sodium chloride. Now it's a different compound. So now we're gonna add some ammonia. And basically just to see, so does it dissolve? Yeah. Um, did it make a precipitate or a color change or anything? that right there oh uh, yeah okay so we have a white precipitate in there so right with ammonia plus ammonia white precipitate and that would be chemical okay so now we're done with that part all right next I'm gonna take a couple pieces of copper I got a piece of copper here. I'm going to mass it. So, Will, write down 0.44. Mass before is 0.44 grams. Okay. Putting it in a microtube, and Will is going to add sodium nitrate to it to cover it up. So just put enough 
of this in it to cover it up. sit for a few minutes here in the test tube rack. Next we're going to take a scoop of cobalt chloride, put it in the crucible. This time we use our clay triangle. in there. I'm going to light wheel. Okay. This only takes just a few seconds. happened to it turned to like a solid it turned it was a solid oh it turned colors it turned blue okay so you write down the cocl2 is the cobalt chloride it turned blue when we heated it now we're going to add water back to it What happened to it? Um, it turned purple. -ish. Yeah, it turned purple, so it turned a different color. Okay, so there's that one. Next, magnesium heated. Okay, so for this one, I'll do this one. I'm going to take a piece of magnesium, this metal, and I'm going to heat it up. Okay, now, don't look directly at it when I get it to, to light on fire. It's going to be a very, very bright light, so don't look directly at it. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. Okay, see? See what I mean there? Oops, got some on the table. All right. Okay, so you saw it gave off a really bright light and it made this white powder. Okay, bright light powder. And now, to this white powder, we are going to add some hydrochloric acid. Okay, so watch what happens, Will. Okay, just the powder. I want just the white powder. Okay, so really nothing happens, right? Right, Will? Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to put a piece. Oh, that's what I wanted to happen here. Now I'm going to put a piece of the original magnesium there. Oh, And now it gives off a gas and smokes. All right. So what that is showing us is that the product doesn't have the same properties as the original substance. All right, so magnesium and hydrochloric acid, 
The product in hydrochloric acid did nothing. And the magnesium in hydrochloric acid bubbled, gave off a gas. So that's once again showing you that the um, product of the reaction, the chemical reaction, is different from the, the properties of the original substance. All right, next, we are going to burn some sugar. Let me go grab a, a crappy test tube. Doing all right, Olivia? Yeah, I don't think I have to go test my Okay. Yep, I gave those out yesterday. Okay, in the first part, the physical properties part, we learned that um, sugar dissolves in water. So now we're going to take the sugar and we're going to heat it up. So we're going to be able to use, that's a little hot, um, another piece of equipment here. Slide that out of the way. Put this one on. Okay, now, we always point the mouth of the test tube at the wall so nothing comes out of it. We've got it set up. My sugar is in there. Okay, so we'll heat this up. Ugh, I ran out of gas. All right, sorry, ran out of gas. Okay, so this only takes, you can already see, I'm getting a gas. I'm getting a color change. Okay, so now, Will, can you get me some just tap water, please? So now we're going to see if the products of this chemical reaction, because it gave off a gas, gave a color change, so is this still sugar? Okay, here's what it looks like. It's black. So regular table sugar dissolves in water. Does this stuff? No. No, it doesn't. It discolors the water, but it doesn't dissolve. So the products of the chemical reaction have different properties than the original substance. All right, now we're down to sodium hydrogen carbonate, Will. And... Okay, so I've got some sodium hydrogen carbonate. Put that in the test tube. Okay, you make it kind of like a boat and support it. Okay, show them over here. Hold it. Okay, now I'm going to add to it some hydrochloric acid. Okay. Here we go. So, what's happening? Will, what's happening? Uh, it's really bubbly and fizzy. So it's giving off a gas. Feel the test tube, Will. Got really cold. The test tube got cold. So that's when you have a chemical reaction, there's always an energy exchange. Sometimes energy is given off. Sometimes it's absorbed. In this case, it's absorbed because it got cold. You can feel it got cold. 
that energy is going to breaking the bonds of the reactants and then more energy is needed to form bonds for the new products. Okay, so how much is left over? That's it, how you determine if it's exothermic or endothermic. This one's endothermic, it got cold. All right, done with that one. Okay, turned black, made a gas. Did not dissolve. made a gas, got cold. Okay, now here is our, let's see if you can see this. You see that? That's our copper. So it has gotten a precipitate. Okay, so if I were to Drain away the liquid. So I decanted the liquid. There's my precipitate in the solid. And I'm going to dry it off and we're going to mass it again. So the original mass was 0 0.44 grams. The mass now is, I need to dry it all the way. Point four three grams. So it lost some mass. Well, where did that mass go? It actually reacted with the silver nitrate and so the silver precipitated, the copper became part of the solution. All right, now go ahead and finish filling out the table. So you can do like Will did. He filled out all the observations and then decide if it's chemical or physical. If it's chemical, you're going to get a new substance formed. You're going to get either a gas, a precipitate, a color change, or energy exchange. Okay, if it's physical change, it stays the same substance. All right, there's part two and I'll put part one of the video on for the first part, part A.